little notational note that I think is important enough that it deserves its own video is the meaning of this minus one here exponent in in uh, our inverse sine function here. So the point that I want to make in this video is that the inverse sine function x is not equal to 1 over sine x. And so this is a very, very common mistake that students make because this notation, I, I'm not a huge fan of this notation in some sense, um, but it, it's mathematical convention, and so we, we at this point we just kind of have to live with it. So the point here is that if you have sine squared of x, this does mean just take your sine function and square it. But if you have sine minus 1 of x, this does not mean sine x to the minus 1 power, which would be 1 over sine x. Take a second and think, why don't we use this notation for 1 over sine x? It's because 1 over sine x is cosecant x. So, this is a very important uh, point to make that if you don't if you don't understand the difference here, you can just do some problem and just very, very quickly become lost. So uh, I can tell you uh, I'm thinking of a problem that I gave last semester where in, in a calculus two class in which, you know, so there was a test that I gave in which I wrote inverse sine of x and some students, the very first thing they did was write, was write one over sine x and at that point, the problem is shot. You know, it's 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 basically, you know, uh, it's a mistake that wrecks the whole problem, and, and they're basically guaranteed zeros on that problem because there's nothing really worth saving at that point. So it's a little bit of unfortunate notation here. I, I, I do acknowledge, you know, this isn't my preference, and, and in fact, you know, I, I I guess I personally have a preference for writing arc sine x to to kind of distinguish it from this style of it. But the textbook will use sine inverse, you know, inverse sine of x. You know, your, your, your quizzes and tests may very well use this notation as well. So you just have to understand that these two things are different. And, and, uh, and I should say, I, I did everything here in terms of sine everything would hold the same for any other inverse trig function. The same, the same rules apply.